So, in this particular example, it is given that the heat content of the sample of steam is 2200 kJ per kg and steam pressure is 5 bar. And we have to find out what is the dryness fraction of the steam. So, the properties of the steam they are given at 5 bar. The HF is given as 640.1 kJ per kg. That is the heat of specific enthalpy of water or sensibility. And HFD, that is the latent heat of evaporation, is 2107.4 kJ per kg at 5 bar pressure. Now, as we have to find out the dryness fraction of the steam, naturally it is a wet steam. And for wet steam, the formula for specific enthalpy is given as H weight is equal to HF plus XHFD. So, H weight minus this HF will be equal to XHFD. And you can find out the value of X that is H weight minus HF divided by HFD. And that dryness fraction is 0.7402 in this particular case. So, this is a simple example. Now, we'll see the typical example. Now, in this particular case, we have to find out what will be the heat required in kJ per kg to generate 1 kg of steam at a pressure of 8 bar from water at 30 degrees centigrade. So, this is the important point. And there are three conditions which are given. When the steam is wet, having time inspection of 0 0.9, when the steam is dry saturated, and when the steam is superheated at constant pressure to 300 degrees centigrade. And we have to assume that the value of specific heat of superheated steam as 2 kJ per kg Kelvin. These are the properties of the steam at 8 bar as shown over here. Now, in the first case, the condition that is given is steam is weight. So, specific enthalpy of weight steam, we know that it is given by H weight is equal to HF plus X HFG. And therefore, substituting the values, the value of HF from the table is 720.9. Value of the dryness fraction that is given in the example is 0 0.9, then HFG is 2046.5. So, this is the value of specific enthalpy of the weight steam. But now, in this particular case, it is given that the formation of the steam is from water at 30 degree centigrade. So, initially, this particular water will also have some heat content in it, and that heat is given by MCP delta P. Mass is 1, so we have not written M over here. CP of water is 4.186 and temperature thickness is 30 minus 0, that is 30. So, this is 125.58. So, net heat that is required to be supplied will be the H weight minus this particular heat. So, that value comes out to be 2437.17. So, this is the amount of the heat that was already present in the water. And this is the final enthalpy of the weight steam, which is made from this particular water, which was at 30 degrees centigrade. So, this enthalpy minus this enthalpy, this was the net heat required to raise that particular weight steam from water at 30 degrees centigrade. Now, in the second case, we are having the dry saturated steam. So, for dry saturated steam, we know that it is HF plus HFG, or directly you can use this particular value, that is 2767.4. So, therefore, in this particular case, the net heat required will be equal to Hg minus this value, 125.58. So, the given answer will be 2641.82 kJ per kg. In the third case, the steam is superheated. So, specific enthalpy of the superheated steam, it is given by H superheated is equal to enthalpy of dry saturated steam plus Cp into degree of superheated, that is T superheated minus T saturated. So, Hg from the table is 2767.4. Specific enthalpy of the superheated steam is 2. Superheated steam temperature that is given in the example is 300 degrees centigrade. And saturation temperature from the table at 8 bar is 170.4 degrees centigrade. So, calculate this value. So, we will get 3026.6 kJ per kg. And therefore, the net heat required will be H sub minus this particular value. And that is 2901.02 kJ per kg. Now, in this particular example, steam at 20 bar pressure and 300 degrees centigrade passes through a pipe with a velocity of 100 meter per second. The steam flow rate is 400 kg per hour and we have to find out what will be the pipe diameter. Now, the properties of the steam which are given are at 20 bar pressure, the saturation temperature is 212.4. But here, in the example, it is given that at that particular pressure, that is 20 bar pressure, the temperature is 300 degrees centigrade. So, naturally, this 300 degrees centigrade is 
greater than the saturation temperature we can say that the condition of the steam of the condition of the steam is superheated while it is flowing through this pipe the specific volume of the dry saturated steam from the table is 0.09955 now as we know that in this particular case the steam is superheated we can say that the superheated steam volume will be according to the gas laws it is vg into t superheated divided by t saturation because superheated steam is formed at constant pressure so specific volume of dry saturated steam is this value t superheated temperature is 300 converted into absolute temperature that is kelvin so 300 plus 273 saturation temperature is this one that is 212.4 converted into kelvin so it is 212.4 plus 273 so that will give the value of specific volume of the superheated steam that is 0.1175 meter cube per kg. Now, if we multiply that particular by mass flow rate, that is 400 kg per hour, then this value is in kg per hour, and this value is in meter cube per kg. So, we we'll get the final answer in terms of meter cube per hour. Divide it by 3600 so that it will get converted to meter cube per second. So, this is the discharge or volumetric flow rate of the steam in meter cube per second that is 0 0.01305 now we know that according to the equation of continuity q is equal to area of the pipe into velocity of flow through the pipe now area of the pipe is pi by 4 d square q just now we have calculated as 0 0.01305 correct so and this velocity is 100 meter per second so only and only is diameter so if you solve, we'll get the value of diameter as 0.01289 meter. So in this way, we can find out the diameter of the pipe in which the superheated steam is.